in this video we will continue with measurements now here we will consider the vernier calipers so the vernier calipers is suitable to measure smaller lengths such as the thickness of a meter room or the internal and external diameters of a tube or the diameter of a rod or the depth of a hole etc now before we proceed let's see how a vernier calipers look like so this is a vernier caliper so this is how it look like now to let's measure let's uh, label some parts so that i can understand better so this side is used to measure um but let's say let me label it first this place is inside jaw why this place is outside jaw and this place is locking screen uh, which part again then this place is a fixed jaw meaning it's not movable why this one is a movable jaw down is a movable jaw why this place this one is the main scale this one is the main scale why i'm um, sorry this one is a vernier scale yeah because it's moving along the main scale. So why this one is the main scale? So this is the vernier scale, yeah. So why this is main scale? So we can move the vernier scale along the main scale. So we also have something here that is not showing a strip. Yeah, we have something like this, yeah. So a strip now the strip measure the depth of a beaker or a bottle so we we'll use the strip there so also we can say this outside jaw outside jaw yeah it's measured the uh, it's measured the length of a rod so or the diameter of a sphere as i draw it there or the external diameter of a hollow cylinder so that is well to use this outside jaws to do then the inside jaws measures the internal diameter of a hollow cylinder or pipe so i can have a pipe here so you can measure like that so that is this is a vernier calipers with the labeling now but in exam there is a way they can ask us questions to measure. So then we need to write, draw the main scale, this main scale. Then we'll draw the vernier scale also. So that's how the diagram usually look like in calculation. So let's see how we can now measure using the vernier calipers. So let's do that one. Now, as we have seen the vernier calipers now. So, vernier calipers. As we have seen it, it looks like this. So, in question, it will look like this. And you have another one here. So, where this one is the main scale that we see now why this one is the vernier scale so how can we now read yeah now you have something like this so if you look at the image again so one two three four five and one two three four five one two three four five one two three four 
Now this place is one. This place is two as an HTC. So here there is another line here in the main scale in the vernier scale. Five. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Now this is what you see in vernier calipers. You have a main scale and the vernier scales. So if you want to measure, you are going to read the main scale first. You are also going to read the vernier scale. So now to read the main scale, you will okay. So let's read a question. Uh the vernier calipers one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So now let's say this vernier caliper is in centimeter. Now, how can you read the up one, which is the main scale? How can you read the main scale? Then how can you read the vernier scale? The vernier scale will come under. So now the main scale. You will read it just like your ruler. So here will be like one. Here is two. So now that means this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, then 0 0.5. This is 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, then one. So that means if you are reading the main scale, you are reading like you know, normal ruler. If here is 1, then here is 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5. That is how you read the main scale. So now, but the question here is, where are you going to stop if you are reading the main scale? Where exactly are you going to stop if you are reading? So now, you will stop exactly where the vernier scale starts from so this is vernier scale so you will stop exactly where this vernier scale starts from that is this point you stop exactly on this point so again to read the main scale you will start your measurement and stop exactly where this vernier scale is starting from now if the vernier scale is starting from here what do you think the measurements of the main scale will be the measurements will be 1, 2, that is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and 0 0.8. So I will stop here. Stop exactly where the vernier scale, uh, scale is starting from. So that means the reading of the up one, which is the main scale, is 0 0.8 centimeter. That's how you read the up one. So that is 0 0.8 centimeter. Then plus you are going to read the main scale also. Again, you read the vernier scale. Um, the vernier scale is this. Then you also read the main scale. To read the main scale, you will stop exactly where the vernier scale is starting from. So like that. So now I'm reading the up one. I'm stopping exactly at this point. So that is 0 0.8. Now to read the down one, which is the vernier scale, down one will be like one 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 two three four five. One two three four five. One two three four five ten. Now to read the vernier scale, where are you going to stop? You will stop exactly where you will notice there are some lines check it again there are some lines facing up like this in your there are some lines facing up in your main scale why the vernier scale there are some lines facing down so you are going to stop exactly where the line of the main scale and the line of the vernier scale are in the same straight line so that is where you will stop your reading in the down one. For example, here, yeah, this is five, six, count one, one, here, yeah, don't count zero points. But you are counting the main scale, count zero point. So that means this place will be one, one, two, three, four, five, then six, seven, eight. Look at the nine. 
the ninth, yeah, the line on your main scale and the vernal scale are in the same straight line. So that is where you will stop the reading for the down one. So in this case now, it is nine centimeter. But anything you read in your vernal scale, you multiply it by 0 0.01. Now, this is just introduced to the calculation. So let us now see example. So let us read a question here. So let's see example. So what is the reading of this instrument? Yeah. So let's say this is one, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. Now, let's say this is um one, two. So also, let's say we have this one too like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two three four like that so now what is the reading of this instrument i said to read a vernal calipers you are going to read the up one you are also going to read the down one so the up one is the main scale why the down one is the vernal scale so how can you read the main scale i said you will read and stop exactly where the vernal scale is starting from the vernal scale is starting from here so you stop there so that means you're reading now this is one already that means this point will be 1.1 1.2 so that means the up one is 1.2 centimeter plus you know i said you'll be reading like your normal ruler 0 0.1 0 0.2 point three so you start the reading of the up one and stop exactly where the vernal scale is starting from now that is the up one plus now to read the down one which is the vernal scale i said you will start that one and stop exactly where the line facing up and the one facing down are in the same straight line so locate that first so if you look at this main scale and uh, vernal scale now you will notice that the line going up and the one facing down is here they are in the same straight line yeah so count to that place but count one one this will be one two three four so because this is now five so that means that place is four because that is where they are in the same straight line that is where i will stop reading my vernier scale so that means that is four but anything you read in your vernier scale multiply it by 0 0.01 always don't forget then it will be in centimeter we are still going to see some points in on vernier calipers so now this will be 1.2 centimeter plus 0 0.04 centimeter so if you add the two together that will be 1.24 centimeter answer so that means the reading of this vernier calipers is 1.24 centimeter so that's how you can read a vernier caliper so you can backward the video to see the pattern very well so again if this scale this scale now as we saw is in centimeter so but what if this scale is in millimeter what if the scale is in millimeter if the scale is in millimeter then this one cannot be one again it will be like 10 20 like that if the scale is in millimeter that means you are counting one one in that case like one two three four then here will be five six seven eight nine then this is ten so you are counting one one then here will be eleven and here will be twelve like that but if you don't want to do it that way you can still do it normal just like what we have solved here that is this is 0 0.5 0 0.6 um this is one this is 1.1 1.2 you know if you multiply by 10 you will still get 12. 
But let's say it's a millimeter. This is how you will read it. So the up one will be 12 millimeter in that case. Because if it is millimeter, then here will be 10. So if here is 10, here will be 11, and here will be 12. So that means we'll stop here. That is 12. Now to read the down one is still normal. The, where they coincide, that will be 4. But then multiply by 0 0.1 millimeter, like that. Now if it is in centimeter, you multiply by 0 0.01. If it is in millimeter, you multiply by 0 0.1. So that means this will be 12 millimeter plus 0 0.4 millimeter. So that will be 12.4 millimeter. That is if the scale is in millimeter. Now, but if the scale is in, look at the two answers. Do you see that if I multiply this answer by 10, I'll get 12.4. That means if I still read it the same way in centimeter and multiply by 10, I will get the answer in millimeter. Anyhow. So now, let's see another question. So let's see another question. So that we can understand better. So let's say we have another one. So after this, we move to micrometer. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. So now, let's say this is a um, seven. It's nine. So, so this one is starting from here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That is ten. Like that. So now what is the reading of this instrument? Yeah. Now I said you are going to read the up one. Where exactly are you going to stop the up one? You will stop the up one at where this vernier scale is starting from. That is, you will stop at this point. Now, this is 7 already. Now, this scale is in centimeter. So, if this is 7, then here is 7.1, 7.2, 7.3. So, that means the up one, your main scale is 7.3 centimeter plus now read the down one that is your main scale that will be one count one one here yeah. one two three four five then six seven eight nine so i'll stop exactly on nine why look at the line in your nine and the one facing down they are in the same straight line and we said if they are in the same straight line that's where you stop your reading so since they are in the same straight line so i'll have nine but anything you read multiply by 0 0.01 that will be in centimeter so that will be 7.3 centimeter plus 0 0.09 centimeter that will be 7.39 centimeter that means your reading there is 7.39 centimeter now notice all the answers in centimeter there are two two decimal places in centimeter if i multiply this by 10 that will be 73.9 in millimeter so if i multiply the answer by 10 so i'll get it in millimeter so in millimeter it is to one decimal place so please take note of that now this is vernier caliper so now let us see micrometer screw gauge now micrometer screw gauge so micrometer micrometer screw gauge now 
we need to see a picture of a micrometer screw gauge also just like the vernier calipers but the micrometer screw gauge is suitable for the measurement of smaller lengths as in that is still smaller than the vernier caliper such as diameter of a wire and the thickness of a piece of paper so we can use then a micrometer screw gauge now let's see a picture of micrometer screw gauge now this is a micrometer screw gauge so this is how it look like yeah then in image you can see this way so it's this part that we'll see in exam so that is the diagram will look like this this will be the sleeve then you have the thimble as in like this so this is how you see it in question so now you can copy the image and like that so but let us see how to calculate using a micrometer screw gauge so let us measure using micrometer screw gauge so we've seen the picture now so for a micrometer screw gauge to measure it will look like this i still have to tell you points in vernier calipers and micrometer but let's finish the calculation we will now do points on the two so you can jot the points now let's say this is a micrometer screw gauge here will be a Dalton line so we have something like this for a micrometer you have your symbol two three four five so this place let's say one two three four five so let's say here is 20 here is 25 let's say here is one two three four then here is 13 like that now let's say this is a micrometer screw gauge to read a micrometer screw gauge you see how you are going to read your micrometer screw gauge yeah so this place if this place is zero then your micrometer screw gauge is read as a zero points likewise just like your micro venia we have main scale here yeah, to and the venia uh, and the venia scale or the micrometer scale so here is the main scale for a micrometer here is the main scale why this one is the micrometer scale so like that so now to read the main scale yeah this is how you read it so that will be this if this place is zero then here is 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 3 that is how you read your micrometer if the number here is 2, then here will be 2, then 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5. That's how you read. Now, if the number here is 5, then here will be 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8. So that's how you read anything here. Yeah, take notes. That's how you read anything there. And if the number here is 1, then how are you going to read it? Here is 1. Here will be 1.1, 1 .1, 2, 2.1, 3, 3.14. So that's how you read your main scale. Now, how can you read this place now? So trace this line. This is your Dalton line. This line. Trace it. So anywhere it's in the same straight line with any line here. That's where you read. So trace it trace the line so anywhere is in the, the same straight line you will see it's in the same straight line here as exactly 25 so that is where you read that one so now let's say this is a instrument this is an instrument now let's read it now to read the main scale you will stop and uh, you will count from one this is one then this is 
that means that place is 4 in millimeter your scale here is in millimeter so plus now count this one too you will notice that this line is exactly on 25 so that means that place is 25 but anything you read there still multiply by 0 0.01 but in this case is now millimeter don't miss the two together so the two is now in millimeter so that means this is four millimeter plus zero point two five millimeter so that means this will be four point two five in millimeter that is two decimal places in millimeter so if you divide by 10 so divide by 10 you are going to get 0 0.425 in centimeter that means if our size in centimeter divide by 10 you get it in centimeter so this is how we read a micrometer screw gauge like that so that's it let's see another measurements let's see another measurement so we have one oh sorry you have a doubt online so let's say this is a um, three the scale is in millimeter so this is your sleeve um so let's say this twenty to one Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. This is twenty-five. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is fifteen, like this. Now let's say this is your uh, micrometer screw gauge. So let's read this first. How can we read this one? So we said since this number is starting from 3, then this will be 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 5, 6, 6.5. That means the reading there is 6.5 millimeter. Plus, now count this one also. Trace this line trace it exactly where it coincides you see where it coincides there that means the line coincide on if this is 15 you are counting one one yeah 15 yeah it's 16 17 18 19 then 20 so you are counting one one so that means if here is um 20 then this place the where, where this line coincide here yeah, is 21 so that place is 21 so where this straight line coincide that's where you stop as in your reading is in that line so where that line coming from here is in the same straight line as that one that's where you read so and in this case you can see it's 21 because it's just one so that means that part is 21 so this is 21 times 0 0.01 millimeter always multiply by 0 0.01 here too in micrometer so that means this is 6.5 in millimeter plus 0 0.21 millimeter. So if you add the two, that will be 6.71 millimeter. That is replace 6.5 here. So that will be 6.71 millimeter. If you divide by 10, you are going to get 0 0.671 uh, centimeter. That means in centimeter is three decimal, in millimeter is two decimal. Now this is how you read a micrometer screw gauge. Now let us see points on vernier caliper and also in micrometer screw gauge. So let's take vernier caliper first. So vernier caliper. So that is how we read. But let's see points on the two. So right, you can judge this. So vernier caliper now, number one point. It has two scales. 
that is the main scale and the vernier scale you can see that in the picture so number two the if the smallest division on the main scale is 0 0.1 centimeter then the smallest division on the you know i'm talking about vernier calipers now so the point number two the smallest division on the main scale is 0 0.1 centimeter why the smallest division on the vernier scale is 0 0.01 is 0 0.01 centimeter that was why anything you measure in the vernier scale yeah we multiply by 0 0.01 check the calculation again so that's point number two so the smallest division on the main scale is 0 0.1 centimeter smallest division on the vernier scale is 0 0.01 centimeter so now number three points the vernier calipers is used for internal and external diameter of a round object again it's used for the internal and external diameter of a round object then point number four it measures accuracy greater than one millimeter so number five points it measures to two decimal places in centimeter as we can see our measurements they are always in two cent and uh, two decimal places in centimeter but in millimeter it will be one decimal place in millimeter take notes that's point number five then number six so for most um, vernier calipers a length of nine millimeter is divided into ten parts that means the reading accuracy the reading accuracy will be equals to vernier scale vs is vernier scale ms is main scale divided by the vernier scale take note reading accuracy of the vernier caliper you can get it from by saying vernier scale minus main scale over vernier scale for example the length of nine millimeter is divided into 10 parts that means vernier scale here yeah, will be 10 minus main scale will be 9 divided by 10 so that means this is 1 over 10 so which is 0 0.1 uh, millimeter so that means 0 0.1 millimeter vernier scale is measured to one decimal place in millimeter and 0 0.01 in centimeter to take note of this formula we will use it later now for any measurements in your vernier scale point number seven now point number seven for any measurements on vernier scale we will get so measurements here yeah. point number seven measurements will be m plus or minus 0 0.1 millimeter or m plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeter that is anything you measure with your vernier caliper if it, it can be like 20 plus or minus 0 0.1 millimeter meaning 20.1 millimeter or 19.9 millimeter and if it is to a centimeter it will be like 20 plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeter that is 20.01 centimeter that is two decimal in centimeter one decimal in millimeter it will be useful take note of that then vernier calipers uh, of this nature like the one i show you is 10 times more accurate than the meter room so now let's see point on micrometer screw gauge you can backward the video and note all the points so now let's see point on micrometer screw gauge now we've already read a micrometer screw gauge also so now micrometer screw gauge micrometer screw gauge so points number one yeah it measures to three decimal places in centimeter as we can see if you measure a micrometer like what i showed earlier is 
we are getting something like this so that means it measures to three decimal places in centimeter that's point number one it has two scales also just like the vernier scale it has the main scale and it also has the vernier scale that is point number three the reading accuracy point number three the reading accuracy here is equals to main scale divided by the vernier scale or you can say the pitch <coughs> the pitch scale the pitch scale divided by the head scale the pitch scale divided by the head scale so that is note this formula also for micrometer screw gauge now it's measured for measurement in micrometer point number four we can have m plus or minus 0 0.01 in millimeter or m plus or minus 0 0.001 in centimeter like that so now point number five meaning in centimeter it can measure up to three decimal in millimeter it can measure up to two decimal places then number point number five it is used for external diameter of round objects then point number six it is used for the thickness of thin objects e.g. rod or thin converging lens like that then that is micrometer but we have um, more lengths yeah that will just brief so let's say more than that let's just brief um, some lengths we are true it's micrometer and vernier calipers like that but measurement of length related item now we have area also so to measure area can use measuration or graphing so to measure volume we can use measuration and the measuring cylinder so to measure volume so we have measurement of mass also measurement of mass so for measurement of mass we can use the beam balance to measure beam balance so measurement of mass beam balance or chemical balance so to measure mass we can and what is mass mass is the quantity of matter a body contains so you can measure using a beam balance or a chemical balance so also you can also we have um, you can also use um, a lever or bushant balance to measure it also we have measurement of weight measurement of weight now for weight we use a spring balance to measure weight spring balance so we use a spring balance to measure weight it's based on Oak's law so you can see all this one in question so a, a measurement of mass we can use a beam balance or a chemical balance you can also use a lever or a bushant balance for weight you can use spring balance so and it's based on Oak's law take note and measurement of time you can judge all the points measurement of time you can use a clock uh, water clock you can use hour clock you can use pendulum clock you can use stopwatch as in to for measurement of time so we just brief all those ones in brief so now your spring balance chemical balance so let's say let me show you a picture of a spring balance and a chemical balance so see the three this one now uh, this instrument here is a chemical balance that is you can use it to measure mass why this one you see here uh, this one is the spring 
balance so you can visualize it so you hang the object yeah so any object then you hold it yeah or hang it there also then it will read at this point so that is your spring balance why this one is the bushard balance so this one is a bushard balance i don't know if you have seen a bushard balance before so this one uh, is a bushard balance that means is, i said this one also can you can use this one also to measure a mass so that is a bushard balance so you just visualize them so that's it thank you